But when I found you and I was like, okay, this dude is fire, is like the King Me album. Yeah. Like, because that to me, I mean, I'm a newer fan, obviously, because yeah. I'm not from here originally or anything. But yeah. that to me was like, okay, like this dude is fire. You know, like the only trappers allowed. Yeah. That I, was so hard to me. Matt, and like those songs like that is be, if you just could see like, the history of how it gets created, it'll, it'll amaze you because, like like I said, once again, it just always comes to me like I'm sitting on the back porch smoking a blunt, and I'm like, out of nowhere. Matter of fact, I lie, I'm on the phone my homeboy's name Show Off. We on the phone, and um, I forgot what happened. I was smoking a blunt, though, and, and I said something, and we was talking. Uh, I think I had just called a sailor or whatever, and he had said something, and I think I was supposed to meet my baby mama with my son or whatever, and... um. You know, I didn't let her come to the, my spot, you know. I'm like, she's not getting my Addy. Like, just because you're my baby mama, like, you're not going to have my Addy. Like, I'm going to meet you with him. You know, it was, you know how to be around that time, though. You know that just me, I'm just like a conscious person, and we was going, you know. It was, you know, but there ain't no bad blood or nothing. But still, I was like, you're not getting my Addy, so I'm going to meet you here to get to grab him or whatever, you know. So um, I grabbed him or whatever. So he was like, um, he asked me, he's like, oh, she dropped him off. I was like, no, I met her. And then out of nowhere, and I was like, um, but my cap ended up, um, Hit me or whatever. I knew the cat, whatever though. He pulled up on me. So I'm like, a couple of caps know where I be at. My BM don't even know. And I and I'm on the phone and my homeboy started laughing. I'm like, what that tell you, show? Never chase a bitch, but I had chase the dough. And he like, oh, that's fire. And then he, I, we never said nothing else about it. So I hear I hear a beat one day and I'm like, oh, I remember this line I said. And I said it. I, I recorded that right right in the twenty studio. Like came right to twenty. I'm like, recorded that. I knew it was a hit. I'm like, oh yeah. They, they go like this one. I'm, hey, there were a couple hits on yeah, that album, bro. Can't, I had something to prove though. It came. You got it. I I just had got with GTF. You know, I just had got with G. So I'm like, I ain't got no choice. You know, like, and then bro, I just signed me. You know, loud pack. I just just had signed me. So I'm like, yeah, it's time to. You, I got to show them why he signed me because you know people have act like they have doubts. Act, even though the history shows like from I was dropping, I had way. I had over so much songs before then, like, like Lombardi probably could say. I had so much songs before it was a GTF, you know? Like and four mixtapes in already. Yeah, already in it. That was crazy. That went up on its own, you know, if I had my own. So, when it's, but you know, you still got people like, oh, like, oh, why he got, you know, just, you know, it's just always going to be hatred. So I'm like, I'm going to show y'all why. Like, I'm going to drop this Kami and y'all going to be on it. And then y'all going to see why nobody ain't messing with me, you know? So I, I really had a point to prove with that CD, like, did you notice any like new fans from from that like outside of the city on up to yeah, King Me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Came Me, Came Me got me a crazy fan base. The, honestly, like because like even you, it is just show you a followers. Because I think when I when I dropped Came Me, uh, honestly, I was at like nine. I want to say nine thousand. If I'm not not done, then I jumped up. But then a, a time frame after the Came Me, probably I jumped up like, like another seven thousand followers, eight thousand followers, something like that. On one like. Yeah, cause, cause that one I feel like going back and listening to your old music. Your old music is very Charleston, you know. If you're yeah. from Charleston, oh yeah, that's you yeah, know that's very is. Charleston. But the King Me album I feel like was a more like almost reached out into. I don't want to say mainstream, but like mainstream underground, underground versus yeah. just Charleston. Yeah, I can say that. I can say that because on I say on all my other cities, all of them wouldn't be Charleston, but most of them would be Charleston. You know what I'm saying? But I would always have the ones on, that stand out. But you know. One thing about Charleston is they don't want to hear, they don't want to hear it's nothing that's not Charleston, and they know that. Like it's not, they, they can't say I'm lying. They want to hear Charleston, Charleston, get you, you know. So it, it's hard to try with gaining the fan base in Charleston. It's hard to be different because they don't want to hear it. Like any and any rapper who's different to get on here and say yeah, like they don't want to hear it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just like stuck in their ways or is it just that what they're used to, you know. So you can't change the ear, you know. But that's so, all. 